Workers are growing more unnerved after a series of random attacks and slashings across the city, especially since the suspects are still on the loose. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco joins us live from University Heights in the Bronx, where one victim lives. Tracy. Christine, we spoke with one of those victims, a 25 year old, who says he is happy to be alive, recovering after being slashed in the face with a box cutter while at work last night. His girlfriend, still shaken up, tells us she is distraught over the attack. At the moment, he's just trying to rest up and trying to heal. Nicole Fontanez is still trying to make sense of the violent slashing that left her boyfriend, 25 year old Bobby Barbeau, with 137 stitches in his face after he asked this teen, seen in a surveillance image released by police, to leave the Silver Spurs restaurant in Greenwich Village on Wednesday night. He just asked him to please leave. He said, I'll be back. Police say the teen was kicked out for bothering customers asking for money for a bogus basketball league. He came back minutes later and slashed Barbeau in this vestibule. He didn't expect the guy to, you know, just slice him. And just blocks away this afternoon, another slashing, this time in Soho at Lafayette and Prince Street, in front of Supreme, a popular skateboard and clothing store, as a long line of people waited to get in and shop. Witnesses say the 21-year-old victim had just finished up in the store when there was some kind of altercation, possibly an armed robbery or an argument about him cutting the line when he was slashed. It was like some controversy down here, and then next thing you know, you see him walking over here, and his, he has blood all over his face. Then on the Upper West Side, a third attack just after 5 o'clock. The 33-year-old victim was walking along West 88th Street near Columbus when a male suspect pressed a sharp object to his back and demanded the contents of his pockets. The suspect then stabbed the victim in the upper back and ran off with his Kindle and headphones. Now with three separate attacks in less than 24 hours, New Yorkers wonder if they could be next. Could happen to any one of us, really. Again, police are still looking for the suspects in these three unrelated attacks. Now, the latest victim in that Upper West Side stabbing, he is still in the hospital in stable condition. We're live tonight from the University Heights section of the Bronx. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. Tracy.